Here we are. Please welcome aboard the Mesa family. Do you smell it? Oh, it smells like a cruise. It smells so good. They're working on something in here. I'm not sure what they're doing. Look at Mickey. So we just boarded the Disney Magic. This is our first time on the Disney Magic. We're in Port Miami for a three night cruise, going to Castaway Key and then Nassau. What do you think so far? I think it's small. This is the smallest and oldest ship that we've ever sailed on. They have the 25 on the screen there because it's the silver anniversary at sea. So it's the 25th anniversary of Disney Cruise Line and also the 25th anniversary of the ship because this was the first ship. The Disney Magic was the first ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet. Which is so, so great to see how it all got started. Yeah, so this is the smallest and oldest ship in the Disney Cruise fleet. We're going to go down to Cabana's for lunch, which is the buffet. And I'm sure nobody else is probably thinking of that. No. To do that first. Okay, here we are in Cabana's. First thing, chicken tenders right off the bat. Thank goodness. I guess I should get some. You have to. Yeah. They're Peter's favorite. The chicken nuggets or the chicken tenders are legendary. They're legendary on Disney Cruise Line. And then of course the honey mustard. We got a spot outside in the back of Cabana's with the view of Miami. And I got some steamship on top of my chicken tenders here. And I don't know why, but on every cruise, they have steamship on boarding day. I feel like I, it's a tradition. It is, and I don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is, but they always have it. So I had to get it. I also got this carry cake, which is a Disney Cruise Line classic thing to get, and some fries and two different types of focaccia. I found like a chicken with pico on top and then chicken fried rice turkey in addition to the focaccia chicken tenders and then this is a celebration cupcake for the 25th anniversary that's cool isn't that cool yeah i was impressed with the with the cabanas today it was good selection good selection yeah. yeah okay lunch was good i think my steamship was roast beef basically and now we're gonna just explore the ship because we haven't been on the magic together before i've done it a long time ago but carrie's never been on this ship uh, we are, are the smallest ship in port today, by far. As we were driving in, we were looking at all the ships in port and we're like, yeah, I think we're on that small one over there, the smallest one here. But the biggest in heart. Yeah, I mean, this is the original Disney ship. And I know a lot of people online say that the Magic or the Wonder is their favorite ship. So I'm excited to see like how we like it. Do we like it more than you know, the newer ships. So far, I feel like Cabana's is possibly better than Marceline Market on The Wish. I mean, so, after, I mean yeah, one maybe. day, but. It was pretty good. And look at this shaded area. This is cool. It is cool. And then there's a slide right here. I'm not sure if adults can go on this slide. I want to. If I'm allowed, I will try it. I feel like I need soft serve ice cream to really kick off this cruise. So a water slide adults can do is this drop slide that they have. They call this one the aqua dunk. Ha! That's funny. A play on the aqua duck, which is a play on aqua duck. <laughs> I'm scared of like drop slides. It, you like stand up there and then it drops you and then it goes over the ship as you can see. You know what I like? There's a lot more tables that you can go and like eat food at. When we came up from the outside of Marceline, there was like a whole area of tables. There's a ton down here. Like, I feel yeah. like it's good for eating. Yeah, this is the family pool, but we're gonna go down these stairs here and check out the other food options. See if we have some buyer's remorse about cabanas <laughs> for lunch. Wow, Daisy's Delight. What's yeah. that? They have this thing by the pool deck called Daisy's Delights. Wow, 25th anniversary ranch dressing. <laughs> I think just everything has that tag on it. I think these are just like cold things. I don't know. There's also a build a bowl thing though. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is the duck in diner with Donald there. This is cool. What do they have here? Oh, some shawarma. Hamburger, cheeseburger, veggie burger, fish burger, hot dog, bratwurst sausage, chicken dinner fries. I don't remember this. I don't know if my memory is horrible or if they've just renovated the ship. I know that they've they've changed the ship a lot. Today's special Cajun spice burger. Disney has kept this ship, you know, fresh. They've been renovating it every so often. There's a lot of things here 
that I never saw when I was here the first time. I see what I need to see. Oh, they have chocolate or mango. What if you, what if you got a, you're getting the combination of chocolate and mango. Oh no, that's not vanilla? No. <laughs> well, I hope this tastes really good. Oh my God. What a combo. It's very weird, but it's not bad. I want to try it. Let's see how good I am at this. I need, You're not going to like it. I need practice on um, swirliness. I'm surprised you went for the mango. I just think it's funny they have this combination. It is funny. It's not that bad, right? It's weird. It's weird. I don't it know. is weird, of course, but it's not as bad as you think it would be. I wouldn't get it again. No, of course not. It almost seems like a mistake. It is. <laughs> okay, then around the corner we have Pinocchio's Pizza. Wow, look at that. Look at the sausage one. It's a meatball pizza. Oh, wait, really? I love yeah. meatball pizza. Here's the thing, there's just as many food venues here as there are in the Wish, but there's so much less space and people, so it makes it feel like there's a lot more stuff on this ship. From what we've seen so far, this ship does not look like it's 25 years old. It, I mean, it looks nicer than the Celebrity Summit, which is like 22 years old, and that's the oldest ship we did before this one. And look at this, this is the so nice... This is, this is the cove area, this is the adult section for 18 and up. This so. ship has like three pools then, because there's like the kid pool area, the yeah. main pool, and then this. It's a lot uh, quieter in the Quiet yeah. Cove, go figure. Oh, here's the adult pool. And it actually looks really nice. And look at the cushioned wow. uh, chairs here. This looks is nice. nice. It looks nice. The pool looks really nice too. There's a couch over there that looks like it's Snow White themed. It almost looks like the nautical flags that like mean you something. You know what? It is. Oh, because signals. Oh, I bet this says signals. S-I-G-N-A-L-S. -S. I bet you're right. Yeah. Wow. So at the Signals bar here, they have a special 25th anniversary Coke bottle. Wow. So I have to have that. Of course. I got my 25th anniversary Coke bottle. This is cool. They didn't have this on the Wish when we were there. No, it's very neat. And um, <laughs> it makes it better. It makes it taste better. It does. It's, it's glass. They have glass on the pool deck. It doesn't matter. Kind of weird, right? I'm okay with it. Yeah. Does it actually taste like 10 times better? You look like you're in a commercial. I can taste the um, the silver, the silver anniversary at sea. This was eleven dollars and eighty cents. Well, after tax. After tax and in auto gratuity, but before that it was ten dollars. That's kind of crazy. Was it worth it? Yes. Okay, just to let everyone else know, there is free soda on board. <laughs> I know, but this is a collector's item. Yeah, Brian does actually have a collection of Coke stuff. I do, yeah. And it broke his heart when I told him that I liked Pepsi more than Coke. Yeah, I'm still upset about that. I know. Okay, we have to, we're gonna explore the inside of the ship now because it is very hot outside. It's so much easier to get around because yeah. the ship is smaller. So like we just went from the top deck basically to like the first floor of stuff and it was so easy. Yeah. We took the stairs like we normally do. And like, it was, it was so easy. Hey, they stopped fixing the glass. Here's the atrium. Oh, they fixed uh, whatever they were fixing. The atrium, as soon as we walked in, I was like, wow, it's so much smaller than the ocean. Oh, look at the characters on the stairs. Oh yeah. And then there's also characters on this thing oh, down that's there cool. that you don't really notice at first. And of course they have the banners for the 25th. So this is the kids club, the Oceaneer club. We're just gonna check it out. So this is the area that's exclusively for kids. Adults can't come in here, except for today because it's an open house. But it's always like the most well-decorated place on board, so you have to check it out. It's like the most highly themed, Disney-type theming thing on board. Here's like this Avengers area. Look at this table. This is yeah. And Iron Man is here? Yeah, Iron Man is locked up, he's a prisoner. So, and he's also frozen, I guess. Apparently there's weapons on board the ship too. Good for the children. So I guess this is Disney Junior because Disney isn't kid enough as it is. They need a junior subset. This is adorable. Yeah, this is like... It's a slinky dog slide. So this is Andy's room. We're taking the secret passageway over to the other section Whoa. of the kids club. I don't know what this one is called, but I think it's basically the same thing. Maybe for older kids, I'm not sure. Whoa, High School Musical is on? 
Yeah, this section seems like it's for kids that are a little bit older. I mean, if high school music was on. Yeah, so this is for high schoolers. This area is for high schoolers. This is from people my age. <laughs> I was Sharpay in High School Musical really? 2, and she's about to come on. Isn't that the villain? Yeah. Typical. Do we have a craft studio? And an animator's studio. It's kind of cool. Oh, they have the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, AKA C. There's me and there's you. Do you know what this is? No. This is like some sort of like overarching story that's like apparently in like a bunch of different attractions. Really? At, at Disney parks, yeah. I feel like maybe we have talked about this before. Yeah. Oh look, here's here's the um see look this is they call it C and this is the expedition patch. So like there's a water slide at um Typhoon Lagoon, Misadventure Falls, and it's like part of C. And then, so this is Mystic Manor at one of the overseas Disney parks. It's like Haunted Mansion, but it's not. But it's somehow tied into C. And look, the this is like a, um, a, tower, a tower of terror, terror type thing at one of the um, overseas parks. And they kind of tie the different attractions together. Isn't that cool? Do you remember when High School Musical came out and it changed your life forever? No. We're on deck four now, and we're in this area where all the gift shops are in the theater, and people are scoping out what stuff they're exactly gonna go for. Exactly what they wanna buy. Yeah. This area looks nice though. I like this. If I wanted to like play cards or something, I would come here. It's like a good vibe. This is cool. So this is like by the theater. Oh, what's this? Do we need that blanket? It looks like a nice blanket. <gasps> Look, it has all five ships on it. Oh, because it looks like it says, it looks like it says wonder, wonder, but I guess it's all of them. We do need that blanket. Oh my God. And look at that. It says wish. No, it says all five all ships. ships. That's cool. Wow, that's cool. Now I'm like those people. I'm like picking out what I want. Yeah. So this is the theater area. And it's kind of smart because as everyone exits the theater at night, you go right into the gift shops. and like Exit you, wow. through the gift shop. Basically exit through the gift shop. Oh, tonight is Tangled. I'm so excited. Awesome. Oh wait, or is this? No, playing today, Tangled the Musical. Okay, good. Oh, at 6.15. I got confused because it says Elemental because that's a movie. Is this not the theater theater? No, this is the actual theater. Does, do we not get a show on oh. Saturday? Okay, we don't get a show. We don't get a stage show on Saturday. We get a movie instead. <sighs> They're really wow. pushing Elemental. I'm actually surprised by that. What were we supposed to get, I wonder? So we have to see the 6.15 show because we have dinner at 8.15. We'll be ready. Okay, let's go down again. There's some cool art that I see. Yeah. Mer babies, silly symphony, like the swings. Yeah. Oh, so this is the adult section after oh, hours. Oh, after hours. Oh, there's another shop. Oh, so there's a, a kid store right next to the after hours. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Whoa. Here's O'Gill's, which is a pub. I wonder if they have food. Not that I want any, but. But maybe later. Oh, it's big in here. It is. Wow. It actually looks pretty cool in here. And look at the little fish by the light. Well, that's cute. And there's chess. Oh, wow. And is, checkers. So was there food on the menu? I did not see any food on the menu, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's not any. Well, there's this food station over here. Oh, wow. So maybe... Uh, maybe there's like a buffet situation. Yeah, maybe. At night? If we're lucky. Wow, look at this. That makes perfect sense. It's kind of creepy. It's the oh. lucky fish who saved the leprechaun and was <laughs> granted a wish. <laughs> the legend of O'Gills. And what's this thing? Is it this like, like a, an a, instrument? Yeah, like a flute. Wow. The ship's cool. Yeah. You know what I like? I like when we go on a new... Um, like class? Yeah, yeah, a new class of ship. It's like, I have no idea what I'm going to see. Yeah. This is a... Uh, lounge called Fathom. This is big. It is big. I could imagine like trivia. Like bingo. The drawing maybe. classes. Yeah. The lights are cool. They are. Should I go up on stage? Yeah. That's where you belong. You belong on stage. <laughs> what if like alarms went off? <laughs> oh, and in the After Hours logo thing, it's a martini, but if you flip it, it's the sorcerer hat, kind of. It's kind of cool because you come down the stairs and you see it this way. 
So you're rewarded by, if you take the stairs, you're rewarded by seeing the true design of it. So this is something brand new to the Disney Magic, and this is the Soul Cat Lounge, which is from the movie Soul. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, this looks so cool, but I guess it's new. That's why it looks so cool. Yeah, and it's a pretty new movie, too. Wow, and look, that's basically the guy. This is his, his outfit. This is his hat and jacket. Is it, like, stapled to the rack, you think? <laughs> I can't tell if it's just because I'm not trying hard enough, but... They probably like welded it on there. Yeah. Do you think those are the people you need to talk to? Oh yeah. This is also where they're doing the dining requests. So they have a spot on the ship where you can make a dining request. So we're going to request a private table. So here's all the things we're going to be doing on our cruise. Uh, grabbing butts <laughs> and losing our clothes. Donald just took off his clothes. He's not pictured here. Reading the newspaper. Yeah. We're going to get the newspaper. Even though there's not even a paper navigator. So. We're gonna save someone from drowning, even though she's like perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's 1.30, so that means our rooms are ready. So let's check out our room. We're on deck seven. We're room 7546, which is right by the stairs in the elevator. Convenient, isn't it? We've got our little fish there holding our stuff. Brian, you have to take your super cool okay. Coke bottle back. I might drop it on the pool deck. Wow. Oh. oh, sorry. Look at that. Here we go. Wow. Did we order that? I, I thought, thought we didn't. <laughs> we might have it. We might have forgotten. I don't remember. I mean, we must have ordered it. <laughs> I think we did and we forgot. Yeah. So Look at this. I feel like um, before this cruise, you're like, did we order water? Yeah. And we got a six pack just oh. in case. So we did already order water. Oh my God, it doesn't tell you what you've already ordered. But this is fine, it's good yeah. we got the six pack. Yeah. So what kind of room is this? This is just a standard veranda, I think, right? It seems like it, yeah. yeah. It feels very classic cruise it ship. It, and also it feels very cozy too. Yeah, I like that it has the curtains here because yeah. this turns into a, a bed. bed. Yeah. So if somebody else was over here, you'd have that privacy. Um, and look at all this drawer storage. There's a hair dryer in here. I assume this is the fridge. Wow, I feel like it, it is like the cooler fridge, not a fridge fridge, but That's I can't really tell. We've got our castaway gift. Thank goodness. I can never get enough of these. Carrie's still silver, which is embarrassing. Oh let's God. check out <laughs> let's check out the bathroom. Because they made it classic, it doesn't look old. It just looks classic. It's like I, timeless. It's so smart. Even though this is 25 years old, it does not feel it like it. It is timeless. This is so nice. It's got a nice tub in oh. it. Which is good for families. Yeah. Oh, and they still have the H2O. Excellent. Love to see it. H2O so. over here, too. So this is the split bath, so this is the shower and sink, and then we have a toilet over here. And they do have hand soap, that's good. Is that a hair dryer? Yep. That's cool. That is cool. And then we have our closet. Ooh. On the other side of the closet. Ah. Oh, is there a bunk bed in here? I didn't even realize, but oh. the ceiling comes down. There must be a ladder for the um, bunk bed. There's a lot of this these little drawer areas, lots of storage space. Yeah, this is nice. Let's check out the, um, oh yeah, there's the bunk bed. I have to check out the bed. How is it? We need this mattress at home. Some people do that. Like I've seen in some of the Facebook pages, people are like, people, where did you get that mattress? People found the company that makes it. Isn't it like in Orlando? I don't know. I think it is. Well, should we get it? <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> it is so soft. It's, it's very nice. Oh, this is actually a really soft mattress. Let's check out the balcony. Okay, the most important part. Wow, we're right in the middle of the ship. Yeah, we're in midship. It's kind of perfect because you're in the dead center. Yeah, we got a view of Miami right now. It's nice. Gorgeous. And um, this side is actually really... Um, private. Oh, it's, it's way more private on this side awesome. than this side because this probably opens up if you're connecting a room or whatever yeah okay we took a little nap <laughs> and then uh did our safety drill and now they've um ripped mickey's arms off what oh my gosh they put him on the pool deck as a display of here's what would happen to you if you 
don't follow the instructions during the muster drill. That's right. But we're gonna find our spot for the sail a wave. Is that what it's called? Sail, sail a wave? wave? Yeah. That's funny. That's we found why... a nice shady spot. Yeah, shady spot for the show. Um, and that's why his hands are there. It's not because he broke a rule. Disney does the old style of uh, muster drills now. So everybody is leaving their muster station and getting their spot for the show, which is the thing to do. They covered up the pool and made it a stage. This is where the pool was before. Yeah, and it looks like the dancers are going to go out on it. It's not for standing on right now. It's for dancing. And then it will um, retract like in that movie and they'll all fall in the pool. What movie does that happen? I don't know. Three, two, one. Okay, we just watched the Sail A Wave show, and um, I have a theory that the horn is not actually the horn in that show, and that it's just playing from the speakers. I kind of agree with your theory, because yeah. how do they time it so perfectly? This is a conspiracy theory. It's screwed up. In the show, what I thought was funny is they had their own song for the Disney magic, and they were just chanting, Disney magic, Disney magic, Disney magic, which is kind of funny. It is funny. It's like hypnotizing. I'm hypnotized into liking the Disney magic now. Brainwashing you to enjoy your cruise. We're sailing away from Miami now. Uh, next stop is uh, Castaway Key tomorrow. <laughs> so we're doing Castaway first, which is cool. That's why we have it on our shirts today. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna head to the bow and then watch us sail away. This boat over here is a floating ad. It's just a giant screen. I love it. We're finally putting ads in our video. So the, yeah, this is an ad in our video. And we're gonna get paid for showing that. So we're at the front of the ship, the bow, and there's a little pool down there for the cast members. And then there's an anchor down there too. I hope it's real and not just a prop. I was like looking at it. I'm, here's what here's what my theory is that it doesn't look like it's connected to anything. My theory is that it's a spare, almost like a spare tire. Oh, I and like that, that theory. If they dropped anchor somewhere and it like fell off or they had to cut it, then like that would be the spare. Kill the spare. <laughs> Okay, Miami is now just a tiny blob on the horizon, and we had to quickly go back to the room and change and get ready for dinner and our show. We're doing the show first today, um, but we had to get ready because we have dinner right after. And dinner is at Animator's Palette, yeah. which is why Brian and I are both black wearing and black and white because that's the theme of Animator's Palette. Just don't look at my jeans because it's not black. <laughs> I should have had black jeans. I should have done that. What are, what are you doing? And at the end of dinner, I'll change and put on a different shirt. I'll hide the other shirt like underneath the oh, table. Because like that's how animator's palette yeah. works. It goes from black and white to color. The dinner starts in black and white and then it ends in color. Here's Carrie's black and white pants. It's very important that you see the pants. She asked me to film it. Okay, but I asked you to do it more subtly than this. Oh. <laughs> Literally, when I bought this shirt, I was thinking like, oh, that would be perfect for animator's palette. Is that sad or? No. Is that cool? Yeah, that's very cool. Here's the show tonight, Tangled, the musical. Not to be confused with the oh. play. There's no balcony. Oh, is there not? Oh, there's no balcony. There's like birds chirping in like a babbling brook. It's gonna make me have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in the Walt Disney Theater. This is the main theater. I'm surprised that there's no balcony here. Okay, we got our seat, and we will let you know what the expert thinks after the show. I'm so excited. I didn't yeah. even know that there was a Tangled musical, and I'm just so excited to see this. This is the best one, and it's like, it's the first show. Have you seen it? Oh, you just mean like, of the lineup for this yes, cruise, yeah. it's the best one. Mm. Okay, the show just ended. What did you think? I thought it was so cool how they used like Rapunzel's hair as yeah. a prop throughout the movie. Or yeah. not the movie, sorry. The <laughs> and like she 
she was playing like jump rope with it and like yeah. I was just thinking as an actor like how hard it must be to have to like carry that around the whole show and then Maximus the horse was like a full on character and yeah. like they had a really cool costume for him and like that was really cool um I feel like it's hard to adapt this story to stage, which is why they haven't done it on Broadway yet, because there's like an action scene that they need in order to drive the plot, and like it's hard to show that action scene on stage, yeah. but I think they did a really good job, and I was really happy to see it. Yeah. I thought it was good. Um, I do think you would have to see this movie beforehand. Like, yeah. you could not follow that story it's without... It's hard to understand, and they tried to like put all the backstory into the very first song, and it's kind yeah. of like, if you did not see the movie, like, you it would be so sure. hard to follow. You, yeah, you would not be able to. So, I guess we're participating in the Black Friday now. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. Like, I need this, right? They're gonna have to redo that soon for the treasure. You're right. <laughs> Look at all the cruise ships. In the Mickey. Oh, it's in Mickey's head. So he's got cruising on his mind. <laughs> I can relate to that. And in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> How do you drink out of that? Or I guess that's just the cap? I don't know. That's cool. It is cool. And look at the ship. What is it? What is it? I don't know. Oh, it lights up. So it's like it? a candle holder. Oh my god. That's kind of cool. That is cool. Are you staying with them? Seems dangerous. It's very dangerous. That's what makes it so cool. And then should we get this? I think we need that. But I don't have I like I like how they highlight the wish. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Like that's the only one that matters, I guess. Again, this is gonna have to be redone in a year. Yeah. They have a pin. They've they didn't have silver anniversary at sea pins before. This is such an interesting pin. It's crazy how every time we go on a Disney cruise there's new stuff. More, it's and not like we're not stuff. usually on a cruise. We are. Wow, look at this. This is cool. So Goofy is the, our stern character on this ship, and he's painting the word magic. Oh, no, and, Disney magic. Yeah, but so this is basically based off of the stern character. That's really cool. That is really cool. That's what the stern character oh, looks like. That's yeah. Him. Wow. I have like a Disneyland sweatshirt that's just like this. Yeah. And I like it because it's it's like a hoodie but without the hood, like a sweatshirt. Yeah. And and look, it's Mickey and he's the captain and it's Disney Cruise Line. We should show the other thing that we just got. We checked out at the other store. We're in the the one. We got a bag. Yeah. Which you have to pay for. Which you have to pay for. Yes. Um, we got, of course. Turbis. This Turbis. And the other stuff that we showed before. But this is cool. And it's rare that you see a, a Turbis with a white lid. But yeah, this store is just right across the, the hallway from the other one we were just in. Do I get that? I think it's cool. So let's go over here and point out how many of these bathing suits I own. <laughs> Some people on our last cruise asked me where I got this bathing suit. In a gift shop, just like that. On board. <laughs> and then also... I have this one. Oh yeah. Now should I add more to my collection? Probably. <laughs> it's best to be safe. They have a lot. I want this one. I want this one. Should I get the kids one too? Maybe. Is that for kids? Probably. Wow, they have D100 flip flops. When you wear them, you wouldn't even know though. Because your big uh, stupid this. feet would cover them. <laughs> <laughs> Those are also D100. Yeah. Let's check out. Let's check out more stuff that they have around the ship. <laughs> but I am so hungry. And like, it's... We have, we have late dining, so but I have to eat now. I don't know. We just need a little snack. Wait, it's just an appetizer. Yeah, exactly. Before our real appetizers. So the Duck Inn Diner is open for snacks right now. Let's see what they have. I'm so happy. This is what cruising is all about. Yeah. It's about getting a giant tray of chicken tenders and fries before you go to dinner and eat an appetizer entree and dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so Carrie got chicken tenders and fries and he gave you a lot of fries. A lot. I got this um, plant-based barbecue hot dog. I'm so intrigued by that, so you're yeah. gonna have to tell me if it's good or not. It might be disgusting, it might be great. It doesn't matter, because it's our pre-dinner. It can be disgusting if it wants to. And if it's bad, I'll steal your one of your chicken tenders. I'm not gonna eat them all. So this, um, the hot dog, it's not the best thing in the world. Uh, probably wouldn't get it again, but that's okay because we're about to go eat. You can also have a... How are the chicken tenders? They're good. They're like, 
crispy because they've kind of been sitting there, but yeah. I like the fries. Did you eat the, the fries? fries? Are, these are the same fries as Disney Parks, so they're really good. Yeah. Okay, this is our first time in a classic animator's palette. It looks so cool. Yeah. Hey, we just saw them on stage. We did. And of course, everything starts in black and white and then will slowly turn into color. It looks really cool in here. And in my opinion, this one is better than the one on the Dream that we saw. It's just so cool seeing it black and white. Okay, so we got our table and we got really, really lucky because they said that this was the very last private table, like at all. And um, it's set for kids. It is, look, so there's like little coloring sets. I think what happened is someone decided, a family decided to change their dining time or something and we got their table, so. Thank goodness. Otherwise we wouldn't have gotten this. I'm very happy. Kind of crazy. It is crazy and that would never happen on Royal. It's a little hectic in here. Yeah, and now... Oh, things are starting on the TV. There's drawings. Is that Bell? Is it? I don't actually know. No, it's it's Rapunzel. Rapunzel. You should have known. I should have. We just saw her. We were just saying, like, how cool would it be if you had um, the Tangled restaurant the same day as the Tangled show? I feel like that would be very on theme. There's crayons here. Crayons, not crayons. Crowns. <laughs> Here's the menu. It's a lenticular Mickey that's uh, sprinkling salt, it looks like, on our food. He's seasoning our food. He gave us a little um, paintbrush to paint with. Just kidding, it's a butter knife. <laughs> we have this at home. Yeah, they sell this in the gift shop as well. I think probably because so many people were stealing it, yeah. they had to start selling it in the gift shop. We got some focaccia bread. Disney Cruise Line loves focaccia bread, and I love that. And so do I. Yeah, me too. And of course we have two things for dipping. What are they? I don't know. Butter and garlic herb. Wow. I have the chicken walnut salad. I already mixed it up, but he like poured this pretty like purple colored dressing on top of it. And you almost finished your alien drawing. Yeah, it was supposed to be green, but we don't have any green crayons. And then I was able to unscramble all of the characters and I was able to help Bo Peep get through the maze. And wow. there's so much that I did. And I got the butternut squash soup. Okay, so Carrie's been drawing me. You know, I have such a great muse, so it's just so easy to draw. It's like it's like looking right at you when I'm looking at this paper. It's honestly not horrible. Thank you. Maybe, maybe it's the power of the restaurant that you're such a good artist. Yeah, it, there's so much art around me. Yeah. So what did you get? I got the penete bolognese, so it's not penne. The garlic bread looks really good. It does. And I got the tuna steak, which is something I've never had before, but the server recommended it, so I thought I would try it for the first time. It looks like there's a mashed potato. A cruise is a great place to try something new. So I agree. Some of the paintings are now being colored in. It's so magical. So it's slowly... Um, Coming to life. Becoming more colorful. So all of our favorite characters died. And then they came back to life. I was about to cry. Well, first of all, it turned full color, and then this wall disappeared. Because there's a wall behind it it's that like, illuminates. Yes. It's so amazing. When it's illuminated from behind, the real colorful wall shows. It's like in Haunted Mansion, how they do that effect sometimes with the paintings. They illuminate it from behind, and something else shows up. And then Mickey came out and danced to the Fantasmic. And I danced too, of course. It's literally the song from Fantasmic. And kind of the story that they're leading you through is a little Fantasmic-y, because they'll, they'll show you happiness, and then like the villains come, and then Mickey comes out. Yeah. What are we getting for dessert? I don't know. Okay, we got our dessert. This is a lemon icebox pie. It looks good. I got the deconstructed carrot cake. This looks like something you would get at Festival of the Arts at Epcot. We have. Yeah, they have a whole deconstructed booth. I guess it's deconstructed key lime pie. Yeah. Which is what this tastes like. Okay, it's time for our dinner time question. If you have a dinner time question, feel free to leave it in the comments below. This one is from Faiza. I've never gone on a cruise ship before and am a bit anxious about how it feels. How does it physically feel to be on a cruise ship? Do you constantly feel the feeling of the ship moving? Is it something you get used to after a while? 
what is the difference between the feeling you get on rough seas versus smoother sailing? This is a great question and I feel like, uh, especially if you're a first time cruiser, you have no idea how this feels and hopefully we can use the descriptive power of our vocabulary to describe this. There's so many questions within this question. Um, basically, you can feel it the whole time. I get motion sickness. So, if I don't take Dramamine or Bonin, I would get sick and I would get a headache or whatever. So, basically what I'm trying to say is don't let it stop you because I'm someone that does get motion sickness and how many cruises have we been on? Right. Um, and trust me, the medicine works. It actually does work. They tested it on Mythbusters. It's not a placebo. This stuff actually does work. So rest easy knowing that if you bring these things on board with you, they will help you get better. And like, for a fact, it will help you feel better. Yeah. So while Brian was telling you like how to remedy it, I feel like I want to talk about what it feels like. Because I do also get not even motion sickness, but you just feel the motion of the ship. And sometimes it's just like you move your head and you can feel that like the ship was moving and like rocking this way as you're moving this way. And it's just kind of disorienting because you're used to obviously being stable on land. And so the fact that you're always kind of shifting from side to side or from forward to back, like you can feel those shifts and it's not always going to make you feel sick, but sometimes because you are used to dry land, it does make you feel sick. So part of the question is, do you get used to it after a while? And yes, you do. And you know what's funny is like, it's almost like, for me now, it's almost a comforting feeling now. Like we can feel, I can feel the ship moving right now. Yeah. And it's, it's almost like, ah, we're on a cruise. Like it feels like that. And But if you like look at the table, like, this glass is moving. You can like, see the water rippling and like moving from side to side. Yeah. It's slight. They also say, what's the difference between uh, rough seas and smooth sailing? So if it is really smooth sailing, you do forget that you're on a ship and you will not feel it at all. Especially on a big Oasis yeah. class Royal like, Caribbean ship. Like Royal Caribbean, you will not, you will literally not feel the ship and you would, you will be like, are we moving? because it doesn't feel like we're moving right now. Yeah. And you you wouldn't know. Um, and wind is also a factor. Wind. It's mostly wind. So, but like smooth seas versus rough seas, if it's very rough seas like we had in Alaska, you almost, you almost can't stop thinking about it. It's gonna be on your mind constantly because it's so rough. It's not even necessarily the feeling of it. It's that you literally cannot walk yeah. in a straight line because of yeah. the way that the ship is moving. But yeah, if it's smooth sailing, you forget and you don't feel it at all. If you're really anxious about it, here's what I would recommend, is go on an Oasis class ship and three nights. So Allure of the Seas is about to do three night sailings, which is perfect because it's the biggest class of ship as of now. And so you're gonna feel the ship less and it's a three night cruise. So if you do get sick, you don't really have much to worry about. But another great thing about that cruise is that it's in port every single day. So one day it's at Coco Key, the next day it is in Nassau. So you're only moving at night. And so when you are moving at night, you're on the biggest ship and it's going to move less. Okay. It's the moment of truth. Well, we have a ghost. Oh my oh. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have an elephant. Wow. A night one Gus. I love when they use the blanket. His body is blue, but his head's white. That's weird. It's a very interesting like type of elephant. I've never heard yeah. of that. We should look that up in some sort of biology book. Okay. It's kind of funny that from Miami, we have to go up. We have to go north to go to Castaway. It's kind of funny because you, know, you always think that it would just be south, but it's not. As you can see, we left Miami. We're on our way to Castaway Key and we'll be there tomorrow morning and we will see you there. In our next video, snorkeling, beautiful scenery, and most importantly, churro waffles.